Start with any triangle, such as the one pictured here. Then place a square on each side of the triangle so that we have three squares as pictured. These three squares allow us to create three new triangles connecting the adjacent vertices of adjacent squares, as shown. Here's an interesting question about the four triangles that we've created. Which of them has the greatest area? Remember that I'm asking this question in general, not for the specific triangle that I drew. So I want to know the answer no matter which triangle we start with. Is it possible that the answer doesn't depend on the starting triangle? Or will the answer change as the initial triangle changes? Pause the video and see if you can figure this out on your own. It turns out that this is a bit of a trick question. If we erase the three squares and rotate each of the three created triangles 90 degrees, we get this shape pictured here. In this shape, each of the three created triangles has a side length that extends one of the side lengths of the original triangle and matches that length. Now when we draw three altitudes in the original triangle, one perpendicular to each side, we see something interesting. Not only do the newly created triangles share a base with the original triangle, they also share a perpendicular height with the original triangle. This means that the areas of each of the three created triangles is equal to the area of the original triangle. But that means that all four triangles have exactly the same area. This argument holds no matter what triangle we started with. It turns out that whatever triangle you start with, you create three new triangles, and when you rotate them 90 degrees, you will always have one side length that matches a side length of the original triangle, and you will always get this nicely glued together three triangle shape so that when you draw altitudes for the original triangle, those altitudes become altitudes of one of the three created triangles.